Hey everyone, welcome back to a weekend in Venice with me. I was in Venice for about three days and I absolutely fell in love with it. The city was so magical, everyone was such a doll and so amazing. I stayed at Hotel Cipriani, which is this hotel right here, and it was not only one of the most beautiful hotels I've ever been to, but probably one of the best hotels as far as just aesthetics and concierge are concerned. So here's the hotel leading up to the room. And then in the room, this is the bathroom area, a normal bathroom, really large, you know, nice bathtub. I took so many baths in this bathtub. It was so nice. Now behind that glass door right there is the bar and I didn't feel like opening the refrigerator but it was fully packed and had lots of goodies inside. And then there was closet one which was this decent sized closet to fit a decent amount of things. in closet two and here are the cute little robes and I actually wish that I would have taken one of these robes because I thought it was very nice but oh well <laughs> so the best part of this room had to be the outside space so this was all a part of the hotel room so you had like kind of like a small little pool area which I really enjoyed I thought it was just really pretty and I don't know really convenient so that was cold water definitely not a hot tub and then you have these two little seating areas which you'll see in a little bit I did have a nice coffee out that way and then if you keep walking as I am walking 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 you'll see that this door right here opens and when you open this door you go out to the main pool area so here at Hotel Cipriani, this is the largest pool in Venice, and it was just very aesthetically pleasing, and unfortunately, I did not go swimming in this pool. I'm not big on swimming, actually, so it's very rare that I actually go into the pool when I'm on vacation, but somebody was enjoying it that morning, and then this was just a little kind of walkway out to the main body of water and then here are all the boat taxis parked or this is where the boat taxis park at and yeah at Hotel Cipriani there is a boat taxi that comes every 10 to 15 minutes 24 hours a day and yeah so I just thought this hotel was so beautiful the pool was so pretty and I just felt like it was so nice that the room that we had just like had this gorgeous like kind of sitting area outside and the fact that it like led out to the main pool area was even more convenient so this area was so nice and I really enjoyed having an espresso out here and just enjoying the sun it was very very relaxing and just made me feel like I was in a movie so I love that So then that night I went to St. Michael's Square and I didn't show it because it is on my TikTok and Instagram, but I went to a restaurant called 
Pondrino, and it was so yummy. You guys, maybe I'll put some clips in now, but it was really, really nice food. And yes, the birds were going insane. <laughs> like, you really shouldn't feed birds, you guys. Especially not pigeons, and especially not bread. But for some reason, people don't know that. Um, at least that's my perspective on it. <laughs> and then this whole area was just so gorgeous, so beautiful. And I just felt like you could like feel the history in your bones when you were there. And so you see right in front of us is Chanel. That whole street that we're coming up on in a second was just some of the cutest little shops. I mean, they all were designer, but it was just so nice seeing Fendi and Chanel and Laurel Piana and Hermes and Prada, all of these stores. It was just very, very nice. And I did do a little bit of shopping, but you'll see that in the next video. Now, this is the area where they had gondola rides, and I didn't go on one, but it was still very cool being able to see the area. right now I got the most beautiful dress you guys look at these bags the details on them so pretty One of my favorite things I did in Venice was go wine tasting and visit Burano and Murano. And so the first wine tasting we went to was at that red little building right there. Now this is the Orto Winery. And what's cool about this place is that he focuses on one grape and one wine. And I think that was really pretty interesting, quite frankly. It's a French man that owns this winery. The wine was good, um, but it was kind of an odd wine tasting. So I got a couple of bottles and then left and went to the next one. Miso was born as a project, but of course it still is. It is still developing year by year. As, um, as a project. And a project based on the vineyard, of course, but especially based on this particular variety of grape. Because this grape in front of us, it's called Dorona, and it's very important, not only uh, for us, of course, but it's very important for the lagoon, for Venice, because this grape, it is autochthonous. It is from the lagoon of Venice. It's actually the grape of Venice. And this is crucial, of course, not only for the biodiversity point of view, of course, but especially because this grape is autochthonous, so it means that it adapted itself through the centuries to survive in this environment, mm -hmm. which is beautiful, of course, but really difficult mm -hmm. also. Because as you can imagine, as you noticed for sure, we are surrounded by the water, mm -hmm. which is lagoon water, so it is salty of course and this means that there's for example a lot of humidity but the humidity is salty of course so salty humidity salty winds salty soil most of all uh, and as you uh, i guess you notice there are just a few steps uh, the vineyard covers pretty much the 50 percent of the estate and then there are fields there are orchards there are vegetable gardens as well Mm. 
concrete tanks for Venisa instead four years. So same way making process, but different length. Seven days of skin contact, two years of refinement in vitrified concrete tanks, 30 days of skin contact, four years of refinement. And this difference about the length of the procedure is based on a different concentration of the grape because the vineyard is divided into 18 microzones. Look at how intricate this bottle is. It's beautiful. And it's just like here is unique by many point of view. Um, the first one is that actually Santa Cristina is a private island and the owners are those Waroski family, you know, the Christian. Um, over there, there's this uh, uh, vineyard, which is composed by two grapes, which are Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon. And in fact, the two, uh, the, both of these wines are a blend of these two grapes. So I will say that wine tasting was incredible and I did end up getting a few bottles, which I was really, really happy about. And so, I would highly, highly, highly recommend this place. Then for, I guess it was lunch, like kind of lunch dinner-esque, ended up going to this restaurant and the food was so good, you guys. And it had the most incredible view of the water. Like, look at that. Look at that view. Like, can you imagine? And the food was so yummy. And I do have a funny little story about this place, but I'll save it for another day. But this place was just so cute and so nice. And that pasta was insane. So after lunch, we ended up going to Murano. Now, Murano is known for their glass making, and so one of the first things we did was watch some of that glass making. And this man right here, he has been glass making for upwards to 30 plus years, and here he is making a really cool little bowl or vase. I actually don't remember what this was, but it was so cool. Look at that. <laughs> that is beautiful. Bravo. <laughs> he also ended up making a horse, but I didn't get that on camera. And then this is all of the other glass chandeliers, glass artwork. They had cups, they had bowls, they had literally every type of like glass making this place was so cool and i wish i could have bought so much here because it was honestly just so cool and so beautiful oh lord have mercy mm -mm -mm. today drained me when i tell you my shoes killed me today because I didn't expect to be walking as much and I wore these. I got these shoes last night from Hermes and they are so nice but they have to be broken in so they killed my feet. Like I don't even want to show you my feet because they're like, they're going through it right now. Anyways, I will talk to you guys soon. I leave in the morning, so 